Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and recently I reviewed the Algo Laser Pixie. It is a small laser engraver. And one of the comments that I got on that video was from someone asking, how would that laser work engraving on PLA, something that you 3D print it, and maybe you want to engrave it with a logo or some words or a picture, something like that. And I thought, you know, that's a pretty good question. So I decided to try it out. They specifically mentioned black PLA. So I looked around to see if I had something already 3D printed in black PLA, and I do. I do have this front cover for my uh, tools and glue and Allen keys and stuff for the Flash Forge Adventure 5M. So I took this and I decided to use that Algo Laser Pixie to engrave the figure feedback logo on one side of it to see how it was going to turn out. And here is the result. I hope that you can see that, but that is the figure feedback logo. And depending on the angle of which you can see it, sometimes it comes out a bit more clear and then sometimes it's a little less clear to see. So like right now, you probably can't see it all that well, but when the light catches it just right, you can make out the logo. This is just regular black PLA, and this is the smooth side of it. This part was not printed face down. Now, when it comes to laser engraving, the settings that you use make a really big difference in how the final product is going to turn out. And that's why it's a good idea for you to have some type of waste material, scrap material that you can play around with and just test different settings instead of just using the one part that you have and if you mess it up then you ruin the entire part but this is just a lid it doesn't really do anything i don't care if i mess it up and it has a lot of surface area so i wanted to test out some more things so the second thing that i did was print the logo again but this time on the side that came in contact with the pei sheet so this logo right here was laser engraved on here and this particular model was printed on uh the smooth pei plate for the Flash Forge Adventure 5M. So this side is the one that came in direct contact with the plate. Now, to me, it's not as easy to see this as it is to see the logo on the back. And you can just ignore the Flash Forge logo and the symbol right there because this was all just 3D printed. This is not laser engraved. But the logo here trying to catch it in the right light, like I said, you can still see it, but it's not as easy to see as this logo back here. So I decided to step things up and move over from the five watt Pixie to the 22 watt Creality Falcon 2 Pro. It's a far more powerful laser. And I use their own software to try this out with. It's called Falcon Design Studio and it's basically a free alternative to something like Lightburn. And within that software, they have all of these different material settings. However, PLA is not a part of those settings. And because Creality also does 3D printers, I think it would be a very good idea if they were to do an update to include some recommended settings for engraving on PLA and some other 3D printed materials, especially since you can do that with the Bamboo Lab H2D Laser Edition. So a little something to help them stay in that particular field of competition. But until that happens, I decided to just try my own settings. So I decided to use the laser at 30% power. And then for the speed, I chose 3000 millimeters a minute. So I just wanted to see how that would look. And I brought out the lid once again, and here are the results. So the first one is just down here. It's the Creality Falcon logo. I didn't get my framing quite right, so it's kind of falling off the edge. But as you can see, I think it did a pretty decent job of this. And it did not burn it through to the other side. It's just engraved right here. I thought that was pretty decent. But then I also tried this logo right here. It says like World's Greatest Dad. Yep. That's me. World's greatest dad right there. I use the exact same settings for this. And I think that this came out looking pretty good. I think it's very uh, easy to read. But as you can see, you do have some, I'm not sure what you would call this, but you see how like the outline of it, it's, uh, it's much lighter 
than the rest. I did have on the air assist and everything, but this is just how it came out. And like I said, settings mean everything. So these may not even be the ideal perfect settings for something like this, but just using the settings that I mentioned is how this particular one turned out. I also wanted to see how it would look on a different color PLA. So I just decided to take this little clip here that goes with the uh, Flash Forge 85X to fit on the spool holders. And I wanted to put world's greatest dad on the opposite side. And this time, even though using those same settings, it didn't turn out so good. See, I don't even think you can really read that. It just looks like it just sort of melted right into the plastic to the point where it's almost unrecognizable. What it says is definitely not clean. And that's very interesting how um, the laser engraving on the black PLA ended up looking a lot better than this one. Now the thicknesses might be a little different and that may account for how this turned out. It also could be the type of PLA that was used. Um, but like I said, that's why it's so important for you to check out the different uh, settings by using waste material so you can see exactly what you're going to get. Now, I'm not saying that you cannot laser engrave on something of a red color and have it come out looking good. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that you definitely need to test those settings. But as you can see, it's more than capable of engraving into it. It's just a matter of finding the correct balance in order to get the result that you want. So I don't know how useful laser engraving on 3D printed parts is going to be for some people. But if you were just kind of curious as to whether or not you could do it on a low power laser like the Pixie? The answer is yes. And you could get an even better result if you were to tweak the settings, slow it down a bit, speed it up a bit, change the percentage of power that the laser is going to use. Or if you have something a lot more powerful like the Creality Falcon 2 Pro, you'll just have a lot more leeway in finding the perfect settings that works for you and as always make sure that you have your ventilation sorted and that you have it vented outside of your space or into some type of air purification box just to cut down on the amount of fumes that you're going to be breathing in from that beautiful melted plastic so that's all for now. If you do laser engraving on 3D printed parts and you kind of found the nice balance and the secret sauce to make it work, let us all know down in the comments so that when we try it, we don't have to struggle to try to figure out what's the best settings to use. You're going to have to tweak them a little bit, but to have a good starting point, that's always great to have. So that's it for now. If you're interested in checking out that video about the Algo Laser Pixie, go ahead and click it on the screen right now in the box. I'm going to take you over to that video so you can learn all about it. So that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.